It's really important to understand that, that living with your partner is not the same as marriage. Living with someone does not create any kind of legal relationship and there is no such thing as a common law husband or wife. So that means that if the relationship breaks down at a later date, there's no legal protection. There's nothing to protect you, to provide you with a financial safety net if the relationship breaks down. You are in the eyes of the law as two strangers. So it's important to consider a living together agreement or a cohabitation agreement. You've probably heard about prenuptial agreements. So they are agreements that couples enter into before they get married to decide what happens to the finances and possibly the children if the relationship or the marriage breaks down. There's no reason why you can't have exactly the same thing as a couple living together outside of marriage. We call it a living together agreement or a cohabitation agreement. It gives you a degree of certainty so that you know where you stand if this relationship breaks down. It isn't just there to sort out the bad stuff, it can be there to sort out good stuff as well. Deciding on a living together agreement doesn't have to be a negative thing. It isn't just about looking at a bleak future where the relationship breaks down. It's also about taking control and taking financial responsibility as a couple for your future. It allows you to plan together and to consider all aspects of your life together. It allows you to make those decisions now rather than waiting until a possible future when you are too emotionally drained or distressed to deal with these issues in a sensible, pragmatic and logical way.